Hey everyone, my name's Dom and for the past few months I've been doing edits for the channel here at Olufemi and Josh asked me to give you guys a little peek into the life of an editor and I thought I'd show you guys one thing that I do to speed up my workflow. What I'm talking about here is templates, specifically motion graphic templates, otherwise known as Mogarts. Motion graphics templates are effects and graphic templates created in After Effects or Premiere Pro, which are then packaged into a file with a .mogrt extension. They're easily shareable, have easy to use controls, and you can literally drag and drop them into your sequences, meaning anyone can download and use them in their video projects. Yes, even you, the beginner Premiere Pro user, can harness the power and awesomeness of these motion graphics. I'll show you five of my favorite text templates from Envato Elements, I'll walk you through the steps of getting them into Premiere Pro, and then show you how you can use them. The first one is called Ultra Chaos Glitch Text Maker. So first things first, I'm signed into my account, I click download, which takes me to this window. To avoid any copyright issues or whatnot, they ask you to let them know the project name you'll be using it for, so in this case, five favorite Premiere Pro text templates. Normally you have to create a new project, but I've already got it sitting here. Next you click add and download. The file is now in my downloads and I'm going to extract it and then put it in my project files so I can find it easily. Now over to Premiere Pro. The templates live in the Essential Graphics panel, which you can find easily by going over to the Graphics workspace. Or in whatever workspace you're in, just go to Window and then Essential Graphics. Premiere Pro has some basic pre-made ones you can use, but we've got this awesome newly downloaded one that I really want to try. It's important to note that each separate title has its own Mogart, so there might be a title pack that has multiple titles in it, and you have to import each one separately as its own Mogart. I looked through to find the one that I like and want to use, which is Main Ultra Chaos Glitch Title 9. Go down to the bottom right, click this window with the little plus, and locate the file you downloaded, and hit open. Scrolling through to find your template is endless, so I usually just favorite the new templates so I can find them easier, but you can also search for them by name. I also want to import Animated Elements 1, which came along with this pack, to help sell the effect. Locate your newly imported template, click on it, and hold down your mouse, and then literally drag it anywhere in your project. Premiere Pro then loads the Mogart. This usually takes a little bit longer on your first install. And that's it! Easy as pie! Depending on the creator and what options and controls they made available for you, you'll see different options here. So that's great, but what can I do with this? I've gone ahead and created a little ad that I've called Fighter using stock footage. I also added a music track and to add the final touch to this edit, I'm going to add our newly imported text template. So like I just showed you, click and drag the template into your project. In my case, I want it to pop up at the end as a bit of an outro for this video. I'll go over to edit and start off by resizing the text to fit my screen. Next I'll change the text itself to something inspirational. How about never give up, never give in. Yeah, I like that. Now that I have the actual text I want, I'll resize it again. There, I like how that looks. Next I'll also drop in animated elements 1 for a little extra something. Yeah, I think that looks sick. Now I also want to fade out the text, but it seems that for this template the animator only animated the text to come in. I want it to disappear just like it appeared. To easily do this, I'll just copy the beginning of the graphics clip and paste it to where I want the text to glitch out. If I right click and go to speed slash duration, you'll see I don't have an option to reverse the speed. I can get around this easily by right clicking the clip, selecting nest, I'll give it a name, simply calling it nest fighter, and now I can right click and reverse the speed. I simply copy the animated elements one clip, paste it to the end, and find the point where the text fades out, and I want the glitchy effect to appear. Now that's all good to go, and let's watch the entire sequence from start to end. See what you can do with some stock footage, some music, and this sick text template? Alright, on to my next favorite text template. This one is called Just Typography 2 for Premiere Pro. I'll follow the same steps as before, hit download, select my project name, and hit add and download. I'll copy the file from my downloads to my project files, extract it, and I'll go into Premiere Pro and import the Mogart for the titles I like from this Just Typography pack. I picked Typography 2 and Typography 18. I've made another little ad, this one for a fictional dance expo. First, let's drop Typography 18 at the start of our sequence. Scrolling through, you can see we have three lines to fill in. We'll go over to edit, and I'll change the words of each to be to dance is, and then the joy to, and then move, feel, live. 
it's already centered, so that's great. Next, let's drop typography 2 at the end of our sequence. Scrolling through, you can see we have three words to choose. We'll go over to edit and change the words to be Dance Expo 2022. I'll drag this to where I want it to be so it matches the ending I'm going for. Here's how it looks. Not bad, right? And we made this in literally no time. On to number three. Let's say you have a client who wants some quick social media videos to post on their stories on Instagram. We have these shots of a model showing off a dress. I'll hop over to Envato Elements and grab the InstaText Stories template. From this pack, I'm choosing to import Insta Stories Scene 2. This sequence is 1080 by 1920, so we have the vertical look for Instagram Stories. I'll drag and drop this at the end of my little sequence and change the text to Summer Dresses Are Here. I can use the text skill slider so the text fits nicely, and I'll change the text color to a slight orange. Here's how it looks. Fun, right? Number four is a little different. It's called Cartoon Liquid Titles. I've got some nice cinematic stock footage of Iceland, so let's drop the text template on top just to see what it looks like. I'll begin by dropping title 3 at the beginning. I'll go over to edit and change the text to Iceland and 2021. Then I'll drag the transition behind it right as it goes into the next clip. I'll cut the beginning, nest it like we did before. And then because it's nested, we can reverse the speed so the transition will fade out. Now let's see how our intro looks. Not bad, not bad at all. The final text template is called Modernist Premium Typography. I'll be using Title 2 and Title 9. I've imported them into Premiere Pro, so let's drop them into the sequence of marine life that I have. I'll drop Title 2 onto this video clip of the manta ray swimming. Isn't it pretty? Since it's so pretty, let's change the text to Beautiful animals exist in the ocean. Now, I want the manta ray to overlay over the text just to drive the point home that they're so gorgeous. I'll go over to the effects panel, if you can't see this, go to Window, then Effects, and search for Track Matte Key. I'll drop this onto the video clip, go over to Effect Controls, scroll down to Track Matte Key. For the mat, I'll select Video 2, meaning that this video clip will be overlaid onto whatever is on Video 2, in this instance the text, and then I'll change the composite using to Matte Luma. Now let's grab Title 9, add it to the end, and change the text to Discover the Ocean. I'll trim the manta ray so it just shows it doing the backflip. Now let's see how that looks. Absolutely love it. And that's it for five of my favorite text templates. I use text templates to save hours of time, to add professionalism to my projects, and to up the production value of my work with a few clicks of a button. And you can do the same. Go check out Envato Elements if you're interested. If you click the link in the description, you can get your first month for $9. But yeah, I hope this was helpful to some of you. If you got something from this, please do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.